Sherlock Holmes was a famous name to a lot of us. A lot of people are familiar with him, but most of us don't know his origin story. So let me take you today in a little conversation about the famous detective, Sherlock Holmes. Welcome to the different topic, same host podcast. And this is your host, Jana Hummel. Let's just start by saying that he is a fictional character. I'm going to stop here because I was a little bit surprised by that. I've always thought that he was a real person due to his popularity and fame. So let me know if you were surprised by this fact or not in the comments down below. His first appearance was on a novel called A Study in Scarlet as a private detective created by British author Sir Arthur Conan Doyle in 1887. The character's popularity became widespread with the first series of short stories in the Strand magazine, eventually totaling four novels and 56 short stories. By the 1990s, there were already over 25,000 stage adaptions, films, television productions and publications featuring the detective, but even Guinness World Record lists him as the most portrayed literary human character in film and television history. So I have the right to think that he was a real individual, I guess. But have you ever thought about how did Conan Doyle come up with this iconic character? Well, there were a few people in Conan's life who were an inspiration for the fictional detective. Sherlock Holmes. Conan Doyle repeatedly said that Holmes was inspired by the real-life figure of Joseph Bell, a surgeon at the Royal Infirmary of Edinburgh, whom Conan Doyle met in 1877 and had worked for as a clerk. Like Holmes, Bell was noted for drawing broad conclusions from minute observations. Another inspiration for Holmes was Sir Henry Littlejohn, Chair of Medical Jurisprudence at the University of Edinburgh Medical School. He provided Conan Doyle with a link between medical investigation and the detection of crime, and that was a strong feature in Holmes' character. There were other possible inspirations that have been proposed, though never acknowledged by Doyle, such as Maximilian Heller by French author Henry Cavan. In this 1871 novel, which is 16 years before the first appearance of Sherlock Holmes, Henry imagined a depressed, antisocial, opium-smoking polymath detective operating in Paris. It is not known if Doyle read the novel, but he was fluent in French. It would be mind-blowing if this was a coincidence, because as you can see, there are a lot of similarities between Sherlock and that character. Who knows, it might be real that Doyle had read it and got inspired from it. As I have said before that Sherlock Holmes has a lot of adaptions, I thought that it wouldn't be fair if I didn't mention two of these adaptions, which is Sherlock Holmes the movie. And of course, the character Sherlock Holmes was portrayed by Arthur J. Robert Downey Jr and Dr. Watson was portrayed by Jude Law. They made two movies and there is a third movie coming in 2021. The second adaption is the TV show Sherlock, starring Benedict Cumberbatch as Sherlock Holmes and Martin Freeman as Dr. John Watson. But there was a little twist in the show as they made it in our modern world with all the technology. I have even heard that Netflix will release a series called Enola Holmes and the series will be talking about Sherlock's younger sister. As if there wasn't enough adaptions, but hey, it is never enough when it comes to Sherlock. Sherlock is a famous character and it will always live forever because of its popularity and extraordinary stories that we witnessed through the books or the screen. And I hope that this episode was as special as Sherlock Holmes. All right, you guys, that's it for today's episode. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below which topic should I talk about next. See you next week.